But I don't want to go to this school. You've said that a thousand times. David, listen. You can call us anytime. We will definitely visit you. Besides, we will spend all the holidays at home together. Will you visit me every weekend? I'd love to, honey, but unfortunately we can't afford it. I'm having trouble at work and Dad's money is going to pay for your tuition. If you don't have enough money, why send me to this school for the rich? To get rid of me? David, if you hadn't spent all your savings on games, there might have been more money in the family. You always blame my games. David. Leave me alone. I'll do without you. I think he'd better cool off now. Well done, John. Very good remarks. Mary, I... Quiet, John. Please, don't say a word. Oh, no. They still decided to send David to some private school. What for? Yet it went so well. They seemed loving and understanding parents. And this sounds like betrayal. Strange. I feel anger and resentment. As if I'm being sent there, not David.
How was your first week, darling? It's okay. You don't sound like it was okay. Did something happen? Well, uh, some guys were laughing at me because I can't swim. Honey, I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you want me to talk to the coach? N no, don't. Okay, okay. Remember, you can always count on my support. Be sure to tell me if you need help. Okay, Mom. Judging by David's mood, his first week didn't go so well. Judging by David's mood, his first week didn't go so well. You weren't coming for a week. Well, after that phone call, I thought I'd surprise you. <laughs> How are things? You mentioned recently that you made new friends. Yeah, Rick and Martin. We met at lunch. Oh, that's great news, honey. And what do you do in your free time? We mostly talk. Yesterday, Rick offered to play some board games, and we like similar video games. We agreed to play together online during the summer holidays. The school year has just begun, and I see you have serious motivation to wait for the summer holidays. Personally, I like the idea of board games. Now it's my turn to tell. I didn't get any student grants like you, Rick. And my parents are quite ordinary. Not like yours, Martin. I don't really understand why I'm here. Sometimes I think my father just wanted to get rid of me by sending me away from home. He never liked me spending a lot of time playing games. He sent you to school to get rid of you? Is that what you think?
The Knights of the Dungeon brings up so many memories. David was always lucky in this one. It almost became a bone of contention between friends. Some people just don't know how to lose. I don't want to go hunting this weekend. I agree to play with my friends online. You've just come home and all you think about is playing? What else do I have to think about? I couldn't play at school. Oh, criminy! Apparently I shouldn't have hoped that your fondness for stupid entertainment would decline after a year. Of course, hunting is not stupid entertainment. <laughs> don't talk to me like that! I'm trying to spend time with you, but you don't seem to appreciate it. Whether you like it or not, we're going hunting because I took a day off work. You can play with your friends some other day. Alright, next vacation, you don't have to take me home! What's the point of being here if I can't do what I want anyway? It must be David's summer holidays. Everything has changed so much, and it feels like they are complete strangers to each other. Raging inside me. I am speed itself. I am unstoppable.
am I supposed to do with all this? We used to get together with our friends on weekends and play something, but now we see each other once a month at best. Everyone goes to different schools. In addition, Aveline and the others are playing some online games on their consoles. I would love to play with them, but my parents are convinced that the PC is enough for me. On the other hand, I have my own piggy bank. I, I wonder how much money I have. <sighs> what should I do? Is it worth the risk for the sake of their interests? My parents won't take away what I bought myself. We will see. No, I doubt they will. Hope this will help her to bond with her friends and will not harm her studies. Why are you always picking on me? Got nothing else to do? Huh? I'm so sick of you! David. I'm so sorry it's come to this. I feel a great power within me. I've never felt something like this before. the insolence to say that to me? From the very first day, David complained about his classmates fighting with him. But for all these years, you could do nothing about it. Or worse, simply did not want to. Now that the gang war has started in your school, you're making my child a scapegoat on the grounds that he struck first? Mary, listen, calm down. David's about to be expelled. Are we here to prevent that from happening? told you his hobbies wouldn't do any good. His hobbies? His hobbies? What about your hobbies? What have they done to you? Did they help you get along with David? But I... I... Shut up, John! I don't want my son to study here anymore. Mary, stop it! Don't react in such a way! Please remind me. Are those the parents of that boy David hit? who made a generous donation at the start of the year. I wonder how many parents will want to make such donations after they learn about your inability to provide children with proper discipline and safety. Wow. My hair stood on end. I wouldn't want to get in her way at that moment. David, I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. I was afraid that because of my problems, I wouldn't have been able to give you as much time as you needed. I'd have to be constantly torn between you and work. And I thought if I sent you to this school, they'd take better care of you than I could. Now I see how much I was wrong, and I am very hurt. Honey, I promise, things will get better from now on. I love you. Hey, guess what? I also heard from Rick and Martin that the bully you beat up was crying and whining like a girl in the infirmary. <laughs> I'm speechless. The last few years were not the easiest in their lives. I really hope things will get better. You shouldn't have made that decision in the heat of the moment. You should have thought it through before you transferred David to another school. I should have thought this through before I even agreed to send him to this school. And you should have done this too! Here we go again. I did my best to earn money for my son's education and to provide my family with everything necessary. I wanted to give our son a decent future, but no, you don't need that. You need everyone to be happy. Me again? John, ever since we put David in this school, his grades have been getting worse. He stopped talking to you and almost stopped talking to me. His behavior has been getting worse. He's been brought home by the sheriff a few times over the last summer holidays. And now... What can I say? Puberty's not the easiest time. It'll pass. Besides, I'm not the one who spoiled him for no reason. We've talked about this a thousand times. God, I've been such a fool. That's right, John. We've talked about this a thousand times. And every time, it gets stumped. I thought a lot about it. I'm filing for divorce. What? Mary, you're not serious. He needed us, John. But we weren't there. And you're not around right now. I didn't think things will get better. It meant such a big change. Mary's decisions trigger strong emotions in me. As if what happened has something to do with me. I haven't gotten many answers so far, but I've got even more questions. I still don't understand anything. I keep seeing David. He's the key figure of this puzzle. Maybe he can lead me to the answers. <laughs> <laughs> 